Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. We've just received a letter from the Admiral. Captain, today at breakfast I noticed that there were more warships than I expected. Imagine my surprise when I was told you managed to capture a brand new Spanish small frigate intact. If you want to keep it for yourself, be my guest. I enjoyed my breakfast more than usual today, the Admiral. Our next assignment is to assist the HMS Romulus which seems to have got itself into a little bit of trouble. We're going to up the difficulty because I found out that that earns you more money and reputation. The 5th of June 1780. The Spanish have struck back by sending a large fleet to retake the Mosquito Gulf. HMS Romulus was caught unprepared and became severely damaged, having little hope of outrunning the enemy. Captain, by order of the Admiralty, you are to deal with the ships attacking the Romulus and then escort her back to Belize where the fleet is being gathered. We are escorting two Spanish merchantmen on their way to Belize. Since we're all headed in the same direction, we decided to escort them. In the distance, we hear the sound of cannon fire. The merchantmen will remain in the rear while we engage. Right after, eight bells rang and action ensued. A Spanish ship of the line, sir. Bad odds. We should use our prizes as fire ships against the enemy ship of the line. This could tip the balance of the battle if we succeed. Or perhaps if we capture her, she would make a mighty fine prize. The order has been given and the prize is advanced to support the ensuing action. We await your orders, Captain. Well, we are facing a ship of the line. That's bad. We have a lot of ships, but I'm going to pause it. Although I do really abhor pausing the game. I need to set up a proper, proper plan, so to speak. So we have HMS Romulus. I believe it's a fourth rate frigate or corvette of some kind. She has a lot of guns. So we'll get her to attack that first ship in the Spanish line. And we'll set up the rest of our ships for a battle line. We don't really want to fight those frigates. I'm going to use these, these prize ships here. They do have the fire ship ability, which might be useful. It does mean sacrificing them, but we don't really need them. All right, so start time again. Get the Salosia under full sail, the Salosa. HMS Romulus has lost her main mast, so she is going to be a liar. Well, not, I wouldn't say a liability, but she's going to be difficult to manage. So ideally, I want to sneak my line up the windward side of our enemy while they're engaged with the Romulus and then intercept them with my fire ships. Romulus has a lot of crew, which would be useful. We can possibly use those crew in a boarding action against the ship of the line, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Bridgewater's turning with the wind, so she'll have a bit more ability. We're going to turn her right around to face the north and join our ships once these Spanish have passed. She has a fair few guns. HMS Bridgewater is our flagship with our Admiral on board. Got the San Fernando. Spanish ship there. I believe both of those are fifth-rate frigates or corvettes. The wind isn't in our favour, unfortunately, so we don't have the range to attack them and they can shoot us freely. So we want to get through their firing arcs as quick as possible. Keep the speed up for this battle so it doesn't drag on too long. Got a second formation of Spanish ships there about to cross into firing range of the Romulus. Solosa is ready for her suicide mission. Great. Fire activated. The decks are on fire, sails are on fire, and we have set the San Silvestra on fire too. Unfortunately, we're going to lose those 15 men on board, I believe. No way of saving them. HMS Romulus is not doing much. We need to get her under sail to join our formation. We're still at a disadvantage, so these Spanish ships, the Rayo, and her sister, looks like a cutter coming up behind, or perhaps a brig. Oh, we have a detonation. 
beautiful. Solosa has done her work, but we need to bring the San Teresa around and not touch that fire ship. Or we'll lose her too. So we took out the lead ship in that formation. Beautiful. It's one less thing we have to worry about. Her sister there spitefully shooting at our fire ship. If we take the sails off, we get a bit more firing range, so... HMS Romulus can open up with her bigger broadsides. The Infante took some decent amount of damage there. So we'll get our next fire ship on her one-way trip, the Santa Teresa. Get those sails nice and oily. Get the rigging nice and coated in powder or whatever they did. Solosa is still taking shots. Ten men on board. She's going to go down soon. And so, our main target, this ship of the line, it's going to be a brutal fight. So we need to do as much damage to this formation as we can. Santa Teresa, we need to wait for the right moment. Get her on an intercept course to take this lead ship, the Rayo, which is a fourth-rate Razzie-class frigate. Razzie was a technique that was performed on a ship to remove one of the gun decks or one of the, the top decks, the forecastle and the quarter deck, and to make the ship smaller and more handier. Oh, damn it. Too busy being, too busy giving information and what, oh man, there's not enough people on board now to start that fire operation. So, damn it. Well, that's unfortunate. But what I was saying, a Razzie class is when they would cut the top deck off to make a large ship smaller and more handier, but it would often keep the same amount of guns. Um, so a, a two deck ship would stay two deck, it would just have all the top stuff removed, and it would still have the firepower of a ship of the line. So they're very dangerous. The British did this to remove ships that were no longer uh, line worthy and still keep them in action uh, in useful for other operations. So this ship of the line here is the Arrogante. And he's just opened up with a brutal shot of grape shot on our HMS Romulus. It took about it took a fair amount of crew damage there, I believe. We'll sneak up the HMS Bridgewater on her starboard side and try and start the boarding straight away. She is caught in the wind in that angle, so we should do okay. HMS Romulus has opened up with some round shot. Done a small amount of damage to her planking, but not much. Bridgewater's going to throw her lines in any second now. Get the rest of the line ready to support this action. Oh, she's being pulled back. She's taken massive damage. Holy jeez. Absolutely massive damage. The ropes have snapped. We have to get to get San Giovanni in to block this exit here. We do not want this ship of the line to be mobile. And we need to get boarded ASAP because these broadsides are just going to destroy our brigs and corvettes. San Giovanni's coming in. She's taken damage to the prow. We're going to pause it here for a second. Slow the time down. Open fire on the port side of the Arrogante. HMS Monk is also taking shots. We need to get everybody fighting this guy. He is a tough mother. 500 men on board. He's going to be hard to board. Our boarding operation with the San Giovanni is in action and we are getting smashed. We are getting absolutely decimated. We need to get men in the water right now. Boats, boats in the water. We need to top up the crew level of the San Giovanni before she surrenders. She is getting absolutely mauled. Everybody in the boats, anchor up. We just have to swarm our sister ship here and give them as much support as we can. Keeping this time out slow here because there's a lot going on. And it looks like we've got the Spanish ships have just made their advance towards our formation here. This is going to get very dicey. Got over 300 men in the boats trying to get across. San Giovanni has surrendered. The last thing we need now is for them to put crew on that ship and take over it. So we need to get on board ASAP and re-establish command. Haragante's starting to take off again. We need to get in that ship. Yes, San Giovanni's now loaded. Feels like I am commentating at the racetrack. We've got HMS Romulus is coming to, down on the port side of the Arrogante, and we're going to take some shots here any second. 
She's in the way. We do not want to hit our own men in the water there. We're trying to get the boats around on the San Giovanni. Those men in the water now can't do anything to board Aragante. They are in a lot of danger. Trying to get them back on the San Giovanni to top up her crew levels. Because she, she got... We lost an entire ship's crew then. Bridgewater is floundering. She's taken significant damage. HMS Monk is coming around the stern of the Aragante. She's opened up a brutal broadside on San Giovanni, who's just taken on another boatload of men. HMS Romulus is at minimum crew now, and she's just blocking the path of the Aragante. We just need to keep her stopped. Meanwhile, our friends in the Spanish ships have got within gun range, and they're opening up on this mosh pit of sails and wood. But that's all we can do. We can only really just gang, gang mosh pit this thing, because we can't fight it in an open gun fight and boarding with one ship as you've seen is totally an exercise in murder of your own men almost a genocide order still got boats in the water here squished between the two ships San Giovanni is getting melted still we're just trying to stack those men up as they fight the Aragante's crew fortunately the guns have now stopped so we need to get more men on board HMS Bridgewater isn't any any state to really fight but we need to get out there and intercept those spanish ships that are going to be harassing us we've got to try and minimize the losses as much as we can hms coventry has aborted all of her crew into the ocean skeleton remained to try and fight off the last of those spanish interceptors from before san giovanni has surrendered yet again we've lost another ship's crew Fortunately, we do have the pride of the British Navy, or the Royal Navy, eagerly waiting in boats to follow their compadres into death. We have whittled down the Aragante's crew to less than half. It was at 500, so we're doing okay, relatively speaking. This is going to be what they would call a Pyrrhic victory, I believe. We won, but at what cost? Got HMS Coventry here shielding the boatloads of men that are furiously rowing towards the carnage that's going on in the San Giovanni. We're about to surrender again, down to 20 men. But she can't go anywhere. She is thoroughly pinned there. We're all anchored, and that's what we want. Once we manage to take her down, I'll just stack crew as much as I can into the Aragante, and we'll use her to fight off these Spanish friends here. HMS Ferret, loyal, trustworthy HMS Ferret. She's gone out to meet the Spanish and try and screen their advance. But she's in no state to fight. She's got less than 20 men on board. We've got men stuck in the boats, can't get on. Coventry's still, bl still blocking the fire that may come towards the boat men in the boats. You can hear the furious battle going on the decks there. Musket fire and sword clashing everywhere. And we have surrendered for the third time. Perhaps... I'll give the, the crew of the Aragante. They are solid fighters. They must be well armed and they are fairly experienced. They have two stars. We're down to less than 100 men. It's the last stand. We've stacked another 300 men into the San Giovanni. This is just a meat grinder. It's like the trenches of the ocean. World War One tactics taken back to the 1780s. <laughs> uh, San Giovanni. That was a murderous effort, but we've managed to take the Aragante. We're stacking two crews onto her, 120 men. It's all we can really spare. Everyone else is on skeleton crews. We lost a significant number of men in that engagement. Only HMS Bridgewater and the Aragante have any substantial number of crew by the look of it. Ferret's taking really, really hard damage. She's in trouble. Less than 19 men on board. They'd be flat out sailing her, let alone doing any form of damage control. Unfortunately, it may be that we lose the Ferret at this stage in our campaign. 
but perhaps not. She's a stoic little ship. We'll turn around so she's not taking shots right up the rear. HMS Coventry's underway, but she's low crew count. They're not going to be able to load those guns very fast. Bridgewater has got a better crew, but she's taken lots of damage in that initial broadside that the Aragante laid on us. Ferret is now taking water substantially. I'm trying to get Bridgewater around to get in the way, perhaps. Try and unfurl this mess of ships that I left behind. It's just a matter of who do we not want to lose. Ideally, we don't want to lose any ships. They have, they've actually captured our fire ship, the Santa Teresa. We, Teresa, we need to be very careful of that. If they set fire to that thing. It is unarmed, but it is a fire ship. So I need to get him pretty quick, actually. Just max speeding it. There's not much I can do tactics-wise. We just need to unfurl this mosh pit, get into a somewhat resemblance of a line, and get anyone away that is substantially damaged. Bridgewater has enough crew here to board the Santa Teresa. She's surrendering, or going to surrender. Later, with a vicious broadside, we've just surrendered. Yes, great. We have lost... We have lost the HMS Ferret. As her sails are still at full furl. Aragante is under power now. A third rate ship of the line. She has 68 guns on board. Very nice. Very nice. She's going to make an excellent addition to our fleet, but it was at a very large cost. Now, the Spanish seem to be running off here to chase HMS Coventry. But she's pretty quick little ship that one running at 13 knots so she might get away easily and we'll bring Bridgewater away the opposite direction she is taking on water fairly badly we've got a quarter of the crew working on the pumps Santa Teresa our fire ship has been recaptured after her, that failed attempt to take out one of the Razzie classes So far, that escort line hasn't really done much damage when you compare it to what we just lost against the Aragante. If if she had have had some distance and decent wind, that Aragante would have laid waste to our ships. Bridgewater just got wrecked in that initial. I mean, HMS Romulus, I should have used her as the shield because she's not our ship. She's not from our fleet. So they've given up on the HMS Coventry. She, like I said, she's very fast, so she got away. Aragante is steaming to the front of the line. But we don't have anywhere enough crew to run her efficiently. 120 men wouldn't, wouldn't be able to run a ship like that. Not in full battle conditions, that's for sure. So we open fire with our brand new ship. 68 guns. 34 aside. Fair amount of damage in that initial broadside. And that's going to really scale up our ability to fight things if we make her our flagship. But for this battle, the reload speed is going to be atrocious. We've only got 107 men working on the guns in a ship that has 68 guns. So that's less than one uh, less than two men per gun. Which I mean, probably for the four and six pounders, if she's got those, they could, that is manageable. But if anything bigger than a four or six pounder, two men would struggle to do that job. A ship like that could probably fit 800 men on it at full laden. I need to really get Santa Teresa out of our line. We don't, she's not a combat ship. And I don't really feel like nuking one of my officers by using her as a fire ship, so. We'll just call that a failure from before, and we'll use her as a prize. So the sec as you can see, the second broadside from our Aragante is quite slow. It's very spread out. Different gun decks are operating at very different paces. 
Bridgewater has stalled. She looks like she's got water in the hold. Lots of water in the hold. Oh dear. HMS Romulus is a slow old thing without that main mast. So San Fernando is going to run rings around her. But she does have fairly decent guns. So it looks like a full broadside's almost reloaded for the Aragante. Hopefully we can take out this smaller brig in the rear. Trying to sneak HMS Coventry back into the combat. I couldn't really afford to fully retreat her in case something goes drastically wrong. Let's try and get some targeted shots on the San Fernando. And get rid of this Corvette. And then maybe try and catch a, capture the Rayo. But that's nowhere near one of our priorities. We need to get HMS Bridgewater out of the area, if I can. She still hasn't sunk yet, so hopefully we can get her underway. San Fernando is in a lot of trouble after that big broadside from Aragante. When she's got a full crew on board, she's going to be a sight to behold, that's for sure. Santa Teresa just took crew shock. Big hits there. Someone got hurt. And it's just a matter of whittling them down now. Or maybe they might even run away. Who knows? I know if I were one of those Spanish captains, I'd want that Aragante back. That's for sure. If the captain survived that, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. When I used to play Sid Meier's Pirates all those years ago... I always used to make it a priority to take a ship of the line or a uh, Spanish treasure galleon as soon as I could and make that my flagship. Then I'd just hunt the Caribbean, destroying everybody. So let's see if we can't replicate that here in the future. It would be cool to see if uh, the Spanish send anyone to try and hunt down their ship, but I doubt that. That would be cool, emergent gameplay. Bridgewater has succumbed to her damage and we have lost our flagship. Oh dear, San Fernando has just exploded just as she's run into the sinking remains of the HMS Bridgewater. The fiery end. No survivors from that one. At least we managed to get our Admiral off the boat as well as some of the officers that were serving with him. The small brig is almost done. And then it's just the Rayo. If I can get an opportunity to capture her, I will. But she does have a lot of crew, so it may be risky for us to try a boarding operation on that one. Nice raking fire across the stern, hitting both ships. And now we have to wait three or four minutes for the reload. Maybe if I try and swing and give them a starboard broadside as well to save on the reload time. Oh, Commander Seymour Sprangler, our hero from all of our missions, has been killed in action. Aboard the Aragante. Killed by raking fire across the bow by the look of it. I'm going to try and board her. No, we, we don't have the crew. So we're just going to push her. Just trying to recover some of our lost crew from before. Still not getting in the boats. Our Admiral is on board... So since we lost our commander, I've abandoned trying to capture the Rayo and we've just devastated them with the broadside from the starboard side. She's still got a lot of crew, but they are sinking fast. Take a lot of water. Both sides of the ship are damaged and that orange bar indicates the condition of the crew's morale. So they may recover a little bit, but if we keep fire on them, especially from the Romulus, she's strong too taking fire from three directions so 
take a very stoic, a very stoic crew to try and fight on through that. Small brig has gone down in the background. Crew is making a desperate bid to row for shore, but look at it, they're not worried about getting on the Rayo. <laughs> we got grape shot, round shot coming from all sides. Coventry has retreated from the battle zone. Ended up just leaving her on her heading. Oh, they're going back for the Rayo. They've decided that they want to get on that ship now. But I think that is not a wise idea, boys. Oh, they're putting sail up. One of the boats has decided he doesn't want to anymore. Perhaps they're full. We've got grape shot going on the lifeboat and Romulus is just chilling there doing nothing. There we go, switch to grape shot, take some more crew out. Let's try and fiddle around so we can get four gun angles on them. This uh, boat crew can't make their mind up. They're heading back to the Rayo now. Maybe it's because I've killed enough crew for them to fit on board. <laughs> I'll ram him with the San Giovanni and try and board him. Yeah, they just jumped on board and replenished the stock that the last broadsides took. Stock of men. Fiddle dee dee. It's a bit, bit of a relaxed atmosphere after the chaos of that boarding action on the Arrogante. Cut off her approach so she can't turn back with the wind. Wait for the boarding to reload. Chuck the ropes. The monk's got the grape shot coming from the opposite side. Ropes are attached. We're going to take this thing home, even if it is sinking. Slowly bringing her to. We are boarding, and she sunk just as the boarding operation started. Open up some grape shot. That'll teach ya. And they're all gonna sw they're all gonna swim back to Cuba or something. It's probably very geographically incorrect. Finish the match. So a Pyrrhic victory, as we would say, we lost 1,028 men. We lost a full gigabyte versus <laughs> full gigabyte worth of men. We lost three ships, which was the Bridgewater and the Ferret, as well as the prize ship that we blew up. But that was worthy of our loss. We managed to capture the Arrogante, the third-rate ship of the line, which is a very exciting prospect. But we did lose Commander Seymour Springer. Well, that was a very, very exciting mission, and I thoroughly enjoyed that battle. It was very frenetic, and losing all those men just to take a third-rate ship of the line is a tale worthy of the sea for sure. Lots of men giving their lives for his majesty. We can't yet add the Arrogante to our fleet because we don't yet have enough reputation. I do need 40 reputation points to do that. But I believe in the next, within the next turn or the next mission, I'll probably get some reputation from side missions. So make sure to tune in and see what we can do with the Arrogante. Hit the like button, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.